What's going on everyone? Steven here. Today I got a quick little video for you. Um, I was hacking around in this game called She Will Punish Them, which is a game. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's actually a pretty fun game. So anyway, I was hacking some free cam and character model stuff and whatnot, and uh, actually ran into a really unique scenario here that is something I've kind of talked about. I think I mentioned it briefly in my free cam tutorial about how there are other things tied to the camera uh, as well as the player um, like lighting and sound and different objects that will follow you around. So when you're looking for say camera XYZ coordinates or the player XYZ coordinates and you know you're doing a generic sort of scan for like starting for or with an unknown value scan and then you know you move upwards and then you search for changed value and move back down changed value again you know and then you whittle it down to let's say a few hundred and then you bring all those addresses down into here and you start locking groups of them and you see what changes you know like you look for camera bobbing or stuff like that so anyway sometimes you'll notice some like screen flickers or some weird little flickering things uh, that might be the camera or it might be other stuff so I was going through that same thing here and um, as it turns out it was lighting and uh, you know the way that I found that is um, well, also within that group of uh, addresses that I found were values for my camera, uh, up and down coordinate, the player, the character's up and down coordinate, and then the lighting, right? Uh, probably sound and maybe some other stuff in there. So when you see a lot of the same values, and sometimes, you know, only one of them seems to do anything with what you're interested in, um, some of those will actually be objects in the same space as something like your camera uh, and it'll be doing something so sometimes those are cool values to mess with but anyway so you see how I move around the wall here and there's this lighting stuff going on right um, so what I did is the one address that I found that looked like it was flickering I looked for the uh, instruction or I looked at all the instructions that access that address and then there was one that was writing so I looked to see which addresses that instruction accessed and there were three addresses and lo and behold there are three lighting related objects that are kind of in the world here that we can't see but that we can see influence the area like the wall here as we turn her right so you know what what can we glean from this okay it seems like lighting or this particular lighting is tied to her right because when I'm moving the camera we can see the effects of that lighting kind of change with you know the wall there however the lighting stays in the same spot it moves when we move her when we rotate her so we know that this lighting is attached to her somehow all right so when I found the instruction um, writing these values I knopped it and noticed that you know when I moved her away she wasn't lit up like this she was you know extremely dark so uh, what I did was I created a script here called it lighting and I'll go over the script here in a second but whenever you enable this script um, I have it uh, created pointers to all three of these light objects, right? And they each have XYZ values because they are objects in this game world, right? So I also created uh, a way for me to toggle each light individually, right? So check this out. This is what's cool, all right? Well, first let me do this. I'm going to toggle these which will make the writing stop happen to each of these. So now I can move her away, and you see how now she's dark, right? And so now there are other elements in the game world that will illuminate her, like whatever this statue thing is, or whatever this is. Uh, that doesn't really seem to be 
uh, casting a light on her. But anyway, so, you know, because the lighting is stuck in the world where we paused it, now she'll just kind of walk through it, okay? But it's still kind of abstract, and this is where this game presents something very cool, okay? I keep talking about lighting as being this object in the world. What if you could actually see it? Well, check this mirror out. See those three dots there? Those are the lights. So I guess the developer just didn't toggle them off in reflections, right? So see how they were moving around when I was moving her around? If I toggle each of these to not move, look, they stay there. You know, we can't see them out here in our view, but there in the reflection with whatever's happening, however that drawing is happening, you can still see the lights. And so now if I untoggle one of these, boom, see how that middle one left and now she's lit up a little bit again? And you can see that one light moving with her, rotating with her, okay? So, yeah, that's, usually you don't get to visualize it like this. You have to kind of go with the ambient light or the effect of the light on the wall or whatever it's hitting. And actually it looks like this reflection you know, whatever texture that is, when the light hits it, it's, you know, we're seeing the actual light itself as opposed to when it's hitting this texture, what happens with it. You know what I mean? Like, it's not reflecting there, it's actually interacting with whatever texture that is and kind of having a soft glow. But I guess this texture is just reflecting the exact light object. So that's. Uh, really cool to see. I just completely accidentally stumbled upon that. All right, and yeah, so that's that. Um, let's talk about the script real quick. Uh, before I do that, though, this is another thing to be cognizant of. Whenever you're scanning for values like these, see how the X and the Z are like barely changing, and we're not doing anything, right? Um, and her character model, it's the same thing. Uh, these two coordinates are just ever so slightly changing. So luckily I was looking for the up-down coordinate, which happens to be Y here, and it only changes when we move. But if we had been searching for changed and unchanged, and see how I'm standing here now, if I searched for an unchanged value, these two would go away. These two would go away because they are still changing. So sometimes changed and unchanged, you can't always rely on that for this very reason. So uh, yeah, that's important to keep in mind. All right, let's check out the script here. So with the lighting script, what I did was um, this address or this location of memory, you know, Unity player DLL plus this offset, First I assert that these bytes are there, and then I'll, uh, if they are what they should be, then the script will enable. Uh, register symbols accordingly, allocate some memory. Um, here I define uh, player lighting, or a pointer to lighting one, two, and three, so those three light objects. And then I also uh, register symbol for them, and then I define uh, the toggle so that I can set true or false, you know, and check for that, and disable rights to any one of these individually based on that toggle, okay? So uh, this is some new syntax that you can use with the latest Cheat Engine 7.1. It might be out now. If it's not, you can go to um, patreon.com slash cheat engine, um, and you can donate there. I'm a monthly donator. I recommend going there and supporting the cause but anyway and the latest one you can just chain your labels together like that and uh, register symbols on register symbols you can chain them all together um, sometimes I like to do that other times I like to just keep the symbols registered uh, or whatever being grouped with the things that they're related to so anyway that's up to you um, but then I go ahead and um, you know declare values in each of these addresses 
and then this is the meat of everything right here so basically whenever I um, checked for which addresses the instruction writes to right I found that in register R9 were these values that differentiated each light object right so I check for those individually so first I check for that one if it's not that then it'll jump here and check for the next one and so on and so forth if it is I just move the base into uh, where I've allocated some memory here so I create my own pointer um, to that address and then uh, after that I check to see if this instruction should write the value or not so that's my toggle compares it to one if it's not one then it's going to jump to cleanup right which is gonna uh, pop the flags values um, off the stack back into the flags register you know from where we preserved it here uh, and then execution will flow through here as normal however if it is one which means don't write the values now then I will go ahead and restore the flags register and then jump to return so that takes care of this part and then it's just gonna jump straight to return it won't jump to code and execute the write. okay so I do that for each one of those and that's pretty much it so then you know I just reference each of these outside the script right so this is um, I created a group for each of these light objects if you will right and so the first thing here is toggle lighting and all that is is a quick Lua script that will write one when enabled or zero when disabled to those locations and then um, this just lets you know what the state of the toggle value is. I mean, you'll know it by if this is enabled or not, but I just have it there anyway. So if for some reason I wanted to actually change this to zero, I could do that there as well. Uh, and then these are the XYZ of each lighting object. And those are, of course, referencing where they need to reference. All right. So anyway, um, that's pretty much that. I just wanted to demonstrate another type of thing, make it less abstract. Um, so, you know, if we could see like the sound object that's attached to the player so that when we're hearing like footsteps and stuff like that, you know, that's another thing that's just sitting there in the environment that we can't see, but it's doing things based on what's happening in the environment, right? So, anyway, all right, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I'm going to be hopefully posting a lot more regularly here. I've got a ton of video ideas. Some cool games are coming up. Uh, Terraria Journey's End is coming up. going to be doing a bunch of videos on that. Cyberpunk later this year, hopefully, still. Uh, and yeah, so a lot of stuff coming up here in the near future. So um, if you're not subscribed or you're new to the channel, check out some other videos. I have a ton of videos, introductions to Cheat Engine, stuff like that. Um, but anyway, don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, and let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care.